Hello, this is Tov from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can acquire fire on any model in Blender uh, by using the free add-on. It's called the Fire Scatter add-on, and it's um, it's pretty pretty good. It's free, which is optional. I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video so you can check it out yourselves and download it. Uh, but when you open it up, it's going to look like this. Um, you can give actually to support the developer, which would help them make more add-ons like this. So you can press this and say uh, you want to just give a rating to acquire the add-on. You can add five dollars, or you can press in here or click in there and add the amount you want to give, or just press zero and click I want this, and it'll send you a link for the downloadable file. And it's not a dot blend file; it's an actual you know. Um, blender add-on file and sometimes when you do when I did it it uh, gave me a pop-up to ask me to accept a bundle of $15 for other add-ons if that happens you just press press X to cancel that out and just continue on with the process and once you've acquired the download zip file uh, the process is still the same for installation is for blender 3.0 and above only uh, but not for 4, but only 3.0 series only. Uh, as I was saying, the installation process is still the same. Click on Edit. Preferences. Click on Install. Make sure you're in the Add-ons uh, option of Blender. Uh, then you're going to navigate to where you've uh, downloaded onto your system. Click on that. Click on Install Add-on. And then once it's installed into Blender, I uh, just put a check in the box and just activate it. And it's just a really simple, straightforward add-on. Um, it's just, the stuff is pretty basic. When it comes to the UI, it'll be on the right-hand side of Blender. And this is it right here. And we're going to use the cube as our example because we, we just want, don't want to uh, have it take a long time to process. But you just click uh, Scatter Fire and it applies uh, Geometric Node um, modifier to whatever model has been selected and if you go to the toolbar here or this tool wrench here for the modifiers you can see the modifier right here which is the geometry node modifier which is cool and they'll have these uh, png files that's all this is it's just files which helps the uh, add-on to run faster in your system it depends on how many png files you have in there but it's right here, and it's, this is just to apply these PNG files to uh, your model. If we go to Texture View, click on that, you can see it's just Fire and Smoke. We're going to move this over to get it out of our scene. Let's left click on our Move Gizmo. Scroll down on our mouse wheel and left click and drag on the X axis. Drag that out of the way, let's scroll up. And if we play, play animation, you can see that it's, it's, uh, it looks really strained at first but you can fix that and just for um, the record here this only works in Eevee it doesn't work in cycles in cycles it's just a black plane but in Eevee it actually appears as fire and smoke so it only works and renders in Eevee only <clears throat> excuse me but let's just kind of improve the way this looks now the settings are just pretty straightforward you have density random rotation minimum and maximum color and animation now what we're going to do is that we're going to make this look, look more believable <clears throat> excuse me again this is the weather but we're going to decrease the density because the higher this is it'll add more little fires to your model but it just not going to look realistic so we're going to reduce the density to like one enter and it's reduced the number of uh, little fire png files that are there and we're going to kind of change the rotation because right now the fire is going downwards as opposed to be, being up now the rotation is on the x y and z so on the x axis <clears throat> you want to fire the point straight up so you left click in here press negative 180 enter now it's going up if we press play it looks more like fire being caught up because fire because it's hot um, the heat causes it to rise. 
So we have that, but now it's just too many little ones. So we want to increase the maximum size of the fire. So let's click in there. Let's press uh, two, enter. And now press play. It looks like an actual fire. And this, this is in real time too. So yeah, this is not a bad add-on at all. I mean, it has a bit of glitching when you turn it a little bit, but I don't think that will affect it when it renders. And you can change the color. Let's stop this. Let's change the color here. Color wheel to green, blue, yellow, pink, or hot purple, whatever you want to call it. A little bit of red. But yeah, this is the uh, fire scatter add-on. You can apply this to any model in Blender. And it works great. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. And that's today's Blender quick tip. The free fire scatter add-on. And yeah, I hope that you guys have, uh, you know, Learn something from the tutorial. I uh, hope you actually like use this on some uh, products that you're using. And once again, I really thank you guys who have been watching the tutorials. Really appreciate your support and your help. And once again, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.